praise the lord it's a great joy that we from the sangamam plus tv and from the society of the holy spirit to greet all of you a merry christmas now we understand what is the meaning of christmas in our lives before that i want you to join with me to adore the king of kings the lord of lords who come let us adore him who come let us adore him who come let us adore him christ our lord yes my dear friends as we celebrate the feast of christmas all over the world we celebrate this year under the background of corona where so many people have lost their lives so many homes may be in the same pain of having lost their dear ones some have lost their business their finance some have lost their health amidst all this jesus is coming to be with us so the feast of christmas primarily means as we read in john 1:14 the word becomes flesh to dwell among us god of heaven and the earth comes down to be with us in our lives that's what we read in matthew 1:23 the revelation was given to joseph that his name will be called immanuel god is with us we may ask why god is with us yes one of the greatest to problem of humanity is loneliness pain that i am alone recently a famous actress in tamil nadu who earned a very famous name mani ended and committed suicide feeling lonely not able to understand one's own life a young girl who was being destroyed by a man she writes that no human being is safe except in the womb of the mother and the mother earth the graveyard it's a sad story jesus is come to tell us god is with us if we look unto him we will experience him we are never alone yes the second important message christmas brings to us jesus gives us says as we read in matthew 1 21 the whole humanity who are created in god's image and goodness has lost its goodness because of sin and the evil has become part and parcel of man man has forgotten how cruel he becomes even to himself and to one another yes we cannot allow humanity to suffer in this way that the enemy has captured man and all kinds of evil habits have become part of man and man even cries please take away my life god comes to wipe away the sin of every human being maybe you are a sinner but you have a savior who wants you to get back to life when i forgive my when i forgive your sins your sins will be forgiven and you become my child and god has not come to see how horrible you have become but i have come to tell you how beautiful once again you can become how have you fallen he has not come to tell us but he says that you can rise up again i am there with you yes secondly jesus has come to make each one of us to realize that we are his children and we will continue to be his children if god is for us who can be against us third we read in first john chapter 4 verse 16 and which is also being spoken by everybody as john 3:16 god so loved the world that he is sending his son 
that we should not be perished but have life why did he do because of his love that's why john says in first john 4:16 that god who is love has come to be with us to make us men and women of love yes about jesus the prophet isaiah in chapter 9 verse 6 he said for to us a child is born a son is given and his name will be wonderful counselor you need to be counseled in your life what to do where to go and he will counsel you give your heart to him second he will be a mighty god never think that you were you have nobody to fight for you to speak for you to stand with you your god himself in jesus will be a mighty god to supply all your needs third he is an everlasting father father is the one who stand with us supplies all our need and he is your everlasting father to protect you to love you to stand with you and to provide you and he is also prince of peace our hearts and our lives are broken and lost in this world the first thing we lose is our peace our health our relationships and jesus comes to restore our relationship to get back to our health and to fill us all with his peace and joy i pray that as he is born we need to be born to be with us with him first of all we need to be with us i need to celebrate my life many people are, are trying to do many things but they are so sad they think they are lonely they think they have nobody they think that i am not worth living they compare themselves with others how i am not able to come up they think of their past mistakes say oh i made that blunders oh i should not have done this how long we will go on live you need to take jesus to yourself and tell yourself whether anybody is with you or not jesus is with you whether anybody loves you or not jesus loves you your life has a mission your life has a purpose because god is with us he has shown us the way he died on the cross and loved us and today your time my term to remain with one another to remain with the suffering humanity to remain and bring justice to those who are suffering struggling in the hands of law and many other evil forces stand with them bring them out of all the clutches that every humanity feel that we are the children of one loving father may his peace and joy abide in you and give that love to one another and celebrate christmas by bringing god's light illumining in your hearts and illumining in the life of everyone god bless you have a wonderful day once again from sangamam plus tv we greet you all happy merry christmas god bless you